Pathos ENB by Panson. The description reads as this. They destroyed your world. They killed your past. They stole your future. This world is just like you, estranged. Pathos ENB intends to make you feel that. It has been created with a simple objective in mind. The visuals. It's always a crisp, sunny Sunday afternoon in the Commonwealth. No more. Balance. You won't have to worry about how your game will look when you're going through their next door. This preset has been tested to allow you to experience any situation without breaking immersion, not including scripted events and effects. The performance. It will make your game cry, but leave your computer smiling. The priority being playability. This preset is light on your machine as possible while enhancing the visuals as much as possible. Pathos. Your home has been destroyed. Your love killed in front of your eyes your only son taken from her dead hands. You awake after being frozen for almost 200 years. Someone who has experienced these kinds of horrors would see the world through different eyes. They would see a hurt world that's being cut by the dawn, raging through the day, bleeding at dusk, and swallowing them whole when darkness falls. Now you can. The installation is straightforward for any EMB. If you've done one, you've done them all, usually. Compatibilities. This does work with True Storms, compatible. If used alongside Vivid Weathers, this is also NAC compatible, a mod that you may have seen me review a few weeks back. Sometimes I find it hard to, to just piece together the perfect words to surmise a mod, to give you a synopsis that could push you towards downloading it immediately, or to give you the complete and utter feeling I have for certain mods. Like, this ENB is definitely one of my favorites, one of the best I have used. The mod author was not joking when he said that it's light and performance, but it gives you as much visuals as possible. It is very true. Once I switched from Grim Wolf's ENB Institute version, I found that my game was a little bit lighter, a little bit snappier. Granted, I am running a single 980 Ti, water-cooled. And also, there are so many mods in my Fallout that it's not even funny. Therefore, if anything, the lack of performance is due to user error. Often when you have problems with your game, more often than not, it is user error. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about this ENB. It is beautiful yet sad, bright yet gloomy, loving yet completely sadistic. In the sense of the days that come don't seem like bright sunny days. There is a sort of ominous feeling, even in the brightest days with this preset, with this E and B, and I think it fits Fallout perfectly. I feel it's one of the more lure-friendly E and Bs out there, because it doesn't try to paint the world clearer or make it match what the world looks like to us in our world, simply because Fallout 4 is a post-apocalyptic nightmare, and I think that should be ever-present or ever-prevalent at night or day. And this mod completely and utterly achieves that. It also gives you a slight photorealistic look at times. There are some areas where I'm looking around and I'm very, very impressed. The depth of field is something you'll have to turn on yourself by going into your any, uh, EMB series any in your Fallout directory. You know where that is. If you're modding, you know it is. You don't need me to paint that for you. You already know and I won't waste your time. But other than that, this is just right off the bat ready to go. It has become one of my favorite ENBs, without a shadow of a doubt, and I wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone who's doing an immersive playthrough, like the Fallout Survival Mode or whatever it's called, because this EMB embodies what Fallout feels to me. It reminds me of when I first started playing New Vegas without any mods. It has that same slight feel where it's like, yes, the sun is out, but this world is still totally fucked. Little Orphan Annie couldn't survive here. It doesn't matter if the sun comes out tomorrow, a rad scorpion's still gonna get you. That's what this EMP says to me. And it'll probably say the same to you. I find it fantastic. The only gripe I could say is it isn't the greatest EMP for me to use to review visual mods. It's beautiful, yes, but the slight gloomy lighting puts a damper on some stuff that I'm reviewing. But you know what? Who cares, right? I can't really recommend this enough for you. Unfortunately, this E&B isn't that popular. Not too many people know about it. I think it only has 75 likes right now, 75 endorsements. And I find that really sad because it's a good E&B. But I guess, you know, when there's just so many mods just popping up on the Nexus, it's very easy to get lost in the sauce. So 
someone on my comment section exposed me to this weeks ago. And I want people to know that I do get your messages. Uh, I would prefer you send them as emails because that way I can always go back to the email. If someone's passionate about it, they'll send me an email and I won't miss it then because it's like it'll be saved. If someone sends me a comment and they want me to check something out, it, it gets lost in the sauce like this EMB. And it's hard for me to remember because I'm stupid. So please forgive me there. Oh, well, enough about me. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. And I'll just leave you with the rest of this EMB as it slowly fades off into the darkness of the interwebs where my video will be lost in the sauce. Damn it. This is too long. Mister, you talk to Cassie Dalton? Shame what happened to her family. Fog's poison. Killing the children of Adam. Fog.